Hi everyone, welcome to sketching. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm not doing my five minute sketching challenge today. Today I thought um, I should give a little preview on uh, a landscape um, painting that I'm doing uh, on my iPad Pro. Um, this is going to be the first kind of proper uh, complete drawing that I'm doing and I'll be doing it in parts so this is part one and as you can see all I'm doing is laying down some kind of bold colours to kind of come up with this uh, landscape idea that I had in my head um, and then on top of them bold colours um, I've just gone quite hard with a, um, a 6B pencil um, and I'm basically just kind of building this kind of image up in my mind and just getting it on the screen and the advantage with digital again like I've said in my previous videos is that you can change as you go along uh, so yeah so all I'm doing now is I'm just adding some small details with a uh, with again with the HB pencil but um, I've just changed the color to white and it's just kind of giving some indications of the grass on the kind of like you know on the greenery um, land area and also on the house, a uh, small little house that I've got on the right hand side and uh, yeah so I was, I was quite excited about doing this but I didn't kind of spend all my time doing this in one go, I did this in bits uh, so it was like maybe 15 minutes one day, 20 minutes the other, in total this kind of this first part, this uh, what, what I would call a thumbnail sketch um, would, uh, it actually took me around about an hour and a half and uh, I was kind of, I was quite happy with it, I mean I didn't look into perspective and kind of you know being right on every angle it was more of just I just wanted to do a complete um, kind of like you know project on the iPad Pro to kind of really test out the um, capability of the of the brushes yeah so um so again all I used for the color on this was the acrylic brush and I, ch I changed the opacity up and down to get the kind of different gradients and then after um, adding in the details all I'm doing here is just adding a bit of a glow um, from where the sky is coming from the horizon line um, with a bit of a kind of a pink shade um, and I did this with the um, round brush with a very very low opacity um, and now all I'm doing here is just adding some details in onto this little small house kind of um, thing that I've just put together on the right hand side um, and yeah and then now what I'm focusing on is one of these trees that I've got these kind of evergreen style trees and this technique that I'm doing here I'm kind of layering on strokes using the um, the pencil again uh, using different gradients I'm adding in like the dark first then the mid-tone and then the highlight um, it it works pretty nice and again because you're working in digital you can easily erase off whereas in real life if I was doing this I'd be using a fan brush um, and I'd be layering the paint on from dark to light but if you go in too light you've got to go in dark and then you gotta wait for the paint to dry and the, what, what I'm talking about here is acrylic paints because uh, I tend to do my landscape paintings in acrylics um, and that's Landscapes are one of my favourite subjects. I'll be doing a lot more on landscapes and I'll actually be doing tutorials in the new year on um, how to kind of put composition down for landscapes. So do tune in for that. Um, I was kind of playing on Skyrim. I don't know if you've heard of Skyrim, but it's a game on the PlayStation. It's like an open world landscape game, a role playing game, and it's got the most beautiful landscape designs that I've ever seen in a game. And I just, I was playing on it for hours and hours. And I guess this kind of scene is inspired by Skyrim um, so all I'm doing here now is I'm just adding some kind of like bushes of flowers and a bit of colors and yeah so I was really pleased with this first kind of initial sketch what I'm going to be doing on the next stages and I'll probably do this over the weekend is I'm going to start building onto this a lot more detail and I'll be adding a couple more elements in I might add in a boat I might add in I don't know some fantasy type of under tunnel <laughs> coming in from one side to the other I don't know whatever I fancy I'll end up doing and yeah so I'll definitely try this out do tune in and please also try doing the five minute challenge that I'll be continuing tomorrow and I hope you enjoyed this video so please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel for more content and I'll hopefully see you on the next one so take care of yourself keep sketching and peace